Yeah, hi Venus. Welcome back. Now I'm going to discuss few important topics related to community dentistry. Okay, first important thing, uh, they were, these were the questions which are recently asked uh, in the NEET as well as in the AIMS. Okay, uh, okay the year of eradication. Okay, the year of eradication. Okay, so these are the things that you have to make a note okay so most of the questions can be asked i mean uh, previously it was asked already leprosy was asked uh, it was planned to eradicate by 2018 and uh, maybe the measles is planned to eradicate in 2020 tb is planned to eradicate in 2025 just do make a note of these two okay that is filaria uh, eradicated by 2017 uh, the reduction of uh, infant mortality rate to 28 uh, should be done by 2019. These were the areas which were previously asked. May not, may not ask such questions as, as there is some drift in uh, your recent need 2020. So they are not asking the numericals or the memory based stuff. Rather than they are uh, more focusing on the, on the conceptual things. Okay, again, uh, this is an area to be focused. Okay, uh, fathers are again the most commonly asked. And if you see the recent need examination, there were many questions asked in this particular journal. Okay, the father of uh, epidemiology, okay, that is uh, John Snow. Uh, the father of public health is a most commonly or frequently asked question in various examination. The father of public health is not a person. It is a disease that is cholera. Because of origin of cholera, uh, the the, the crowd or the, or the society has given more importance to public health, public hygiene. Okay, so that's the reason why a disease has made uh, the origin of public health. So the father of public health is not a disease, uh, is not a person, it's a disease that is cholera. The father, father of modern medicine that is Hippocrates and father of uh, the medicine is again the Hippocrates. Okay, the father of Indian medicine is Charaka. Okay, these are the questions which are most uh, frequently asked and of course uh, the most common a uh, uh, questions in this recent trend change is evidence-based okay it can be an evidence-based dentistry or an evidence-based medicine like whatever treatment you plan whatever treatment you plan whatever procedure you plan for example if you if if you're telling like uh, so we have discussed lots of smart material which are the recent advances right or you give more importance to composites when you're talking about an aesthetic restoration or you give more importance to uh, a few other material like the smart material uh, when you come to a critical situation of handling a case uh, people can ask you why you have done this okay why you why you have done this because there are many clinical trials were done on these cases and there are lots of evidences proving that this material is best uh, among the list so everything whatever we do everything whatever we follow is an evidence based means you have an evidence it is already proven that it's the best and that is called as evidence based dentistry or evidence based medicine so they can ask you a question like uh, this is a simple thing that is 5 a's of evidence-based dentistry okay this is one this is two and this is three this is four and this is five see these are the five a's which are directly or indirectly related to the evidence-based medicine or evidence-based dentistry okay uh, this pico uh, is again a question that is asked in the recent examinations which we'll be discussing in further classes uh, uh, in our further classes okay this is again pico is again an, a question which was asked so most of the questions they are asking directly or indirectly related to the latest trends in the studies uh, that is in the studies of evidence-based dentistry or medicine okay so they, this is called as evidence-based triangle so they can ask you a question the father of evidence-based medicine or evidence-based medicine is okay you can just make a note about the fathers scientist names previously they used to ask scientist names for sure uh, but a drift is there they were dropped they have dropped the questions based upon scientist based uh, or 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 uh, numerical based uh, mostly memory based questions were dropped but anyway it is mandatory that you have to learn everything so this is already discussed that is called as evidence based triangle so what this evidence based triangle is going to give you an information like as you move from the base from the base this is the base right so as you move from the base and move to the top that is the top or tip or apex of the triangle as you move from here to there as you move from here to there 
the strength of evidence increases means for example if you compare cohort study to the meta analysis they can ask you which of the following has the better strength which of the following has more importance which of the following is just preferred to make your study more strong It means you have to go for meta analysis meta analysis is the tip is the strongest as you move from the tip to the base your strength or your evidence is going to decrease so most of your questions will move around this and you can add add few important things like uh, evidence based evidence based medicine or evidence based practice or evidence based dentistry is a golden standard aspect for the clinical practice okay it's a golden standard you can they can ask you which is a golden standard for the clinical practice the answer is evidence based dentistry or evidence based medicine and they can ask you uh, the strongest epidemiological study is the strongest study is the strongest study is the study which is faced towards the tip because you will have four options you need to identify the best option among the four so among the four you can check this which is towards the apex which is towards the apex apex is strong okay so you have to make a note about this order meta analysis followed by systemic reviews followed by uh, critical appraisal followed by randomized trial followed by that so you make an order so among the four options which is towards the apex or towards the tip is most strongest okay so they can ask you the least strongest the least strongest is the expert's opinion okay expert's opinion is the least strongest they can ask you questions on the arrange them in sequence or arrange them in the order from high strength to low strength or low strength to high strength or they can ask you what is evidence based medicine directly or indirectly questions but you got an idea right evidence based is whatever you do in a clinical practice you should have an evidence to prove for example a simple example you have done something to the patient okay so there is some mishap that is happened because of your treatment procedure or something uh, your new treatment procedure or something the patient has some loss that loss can be a loss of teeth uh, sometimes a loss of uh, jaw or necrosis of the particular area or sometimes a loss of life also so anything can happen but you need to support yourself how you can support yourself you can clearly show that this is an evidence based thing already many people has tried it it is proven that this is a good so i have tried it but this Uh, may become a contradictory for this particular patient so you should have an evidence background for everything what you do right now in the clinical practice uh, to overcome any anything anything in your clinical practice can be good or bad okay so this is what all about the evidence based which is a most important area of focus nowadays in this particular topic the few other things that we are going to discuss in further videos and further classes stay positive Take care, all of you. Thank you. Signing off from Team MBS Computer.